back to 13 News Now at noon. The Peninsula Agency on Aging is getting ready to hold its annual community forum on aging. Now, this event serves as a real talk on everything from how not to fall victim to scams to taking care of your health. Really important conversation. Here to tell us more about it, we have Randy Kesey of the Peninsula Agency on Aging and Colonel Greg Gadsen, the event's keynote speaker. Thank you both for being here. Oh, thank, thank, you. You. thank you. This is an important conversation, and, and I'm glad that we get to talk about it in a setting where it's real talk, right? Like we're addressing some serious issues here. So Randy, just tell us a bit about the event and what people can expect there. So the forum, this is our 41st annual community forum on aging. And it basically is just a large showcase of all the available resources and education to older adults in the community and their caregivers. You know, aging is becoming such a huge thing in the population. Mm -hmm. And so this is a way for them to get all the resources and education to help them as they continue to age. Now, now Colonel Gadsden, you, you have certainly a story that you're going to be bringing to this event. We were talking during the break. He's not going to give away the speech now, uh, but we do want to talk a little bit about your story. And if people don't get anything else from the message that you give at the event, what do you want them to know? Well, uh, for me, uh, thanks, Ashley, for having me here and being able to kind of share a little bit of my perspectives. And I, I think for me, it's about change. Mm. You know, as we get older, we have life, life changes and change is inevitable. Um, it's not a question of uh, if, it's just a matter of when. Um, I served in the military for uh, 26 years, and, um, and as you can see, I probably uh, had to deal with some changes. Mm -hmm. I was, uh, was wounded in combat, um, but uh, I was fortunate and able to really to continue to serve and, and, and continue to kind of fight through the changes of, as myself as I get older. Wounded 16 years ago in my, my 40s, I'm getting close to that, uh, that 6-0 number. Wow. And you, and you know, you talk about change and, and how important it is to kind of embrace that. But, um, you know, one thing that you mentioned as well as is, is being resilient and kind of embracing not just the change, but who you were kind of before then too, right? So how do you kind of create that balance as you age? You're, you're embracing the change, but still being who you are. I, for me, it's, um, you know, I, I tell people we are not what we do, but we are who we are, and that's our character, how we, how we live our lives. And, and um, you know, my challenge to myself is just to make the most of every day uh, that I'm given, because I'm not promised tomorrow. And, um, and, and I think in itself that builds a certain uh, approach to life. It builds a certain resiliency. It's not, um, it, you know, your choice is that you're going to you know, make the most of what you got. You're going to, as you said, embrace the change versus fighting it. Yeah, I love that. And, you know, Randy, we talk about aging and sometimes people immediately look to, oh, this is an event for, you know, 70, 80, 90 year olds. But but this is not just for them. Can you talk about, you know, who this event is targeting? Well, really, it's for older adults, caregivers, senior professionals. And, you know, as Greg and I, we had a candid conversation today about aging and the walls that you hit as you continue to age and fighting through those walls and persevering. And so this event, because of all these resources, we have six workshops. We have an opening session on fraud and scams that it really helps you if you hit a wall, I know where to turn in the community to be able to help me as I continue to age. And so this is geared towards older adults, family members, caregivers, senior professionals. I mean, we have a, a veteran as well. So it's everybody. Everybody in the community can can appreciate this yeah. event. A lot of education that's going mm -hmm. to be happening there. Give us the details one, one more time, you know, when it is, what time it is, what people need to do beforehand, and where they can get more information. Yeah, so this event is actually tomorrow, <laughs> uh, Wednesday, March 1st. It's going to be held at the Hampton Roads Convention Center from 8 to 2. Greg is our keynote from 1230 to 2 with lunch. But people can actually just show up day of registration. Our online registration is closed, but they can show up day of. We're prepared for them, uh, and it starts at 8 o'clock with the vendors, and then the opening session is at nine o'clock. Fantastic. So make sure you go get more information about this really important conversations. And, and I hear we're going to be keeping it real. So bring your questions and certainly bring your curiosity. It's going to be a wonderful time. Thank you both for coming. Thank, Thank you. you. So we'll be right back.